This show is designed to help you, the students, get more involved with on-campus activities and get to know the people around you. This week, I have Carrie Gibson, who's a well-known dancer here at Lindenwood. Hey, Carrie. Hi. So, could you tell me about the first time you fell in love with dancing? The first time I fell in love with dancing was around the age of 10. I had my first dance competition, so-called. It was at Vashon High School in St. Louis, Missouri. They were having a Christmas celebration, and they were giving out prizes and stuff for uh, kids, basically. And they had a competition. It was about one to 200 kids, and they had about 15 judges spread out through the floor. So they play with music, judge dancing, and they'll stop the music, and they'll just pick random people. So I made it all the way through, and I ended up winning uh, $150. And I, I was, That's a lot of money. Yeah, at the age of 10, <laughs> I thought I was balling. So that was probably when I really took dance serious. $150? Oh, yeah. At the age of what? 10. Okay. I need that right now, and I'm a college student. So. My mom took a portion of this. Okay. <laughs> so how long have you been dancing? Really don't have a specific age because I've been doing it for a while. Probably around the four range. So four. Four. What were you doing at four? I, I think I was doing the Michael, the Michael. I'm pretty sure. So how did you get into the dancing industry? The dancing industry. Well, I worked for a company called Utopia Entertainment, and I got into that basically by being in the right place at the right time among some dancers. <clears throat> so we were out and the boss of the company was out also and they asked me to come to an audition and I went and they in a black community and I've been working for them since I was 15 so that's about nine years now that's longer than any job I ever kept in my life so far yeah. <laughs> so cool. what advice would you give students here who want to get involved in the dancing industry if you want to get in the dance industry they have to have to work on a craft they have to learn it Love it, enjoy it, and learn it. Because if you don't learn it, I already said learn it before, but <laughs> if you don't learn it and work on your craft, you'll just be mediocre. You'll be average, and no one wants to be average for among anything. So take classes. That will be the best way, and you will learn a lot more in the classes, the technical part, and then it will it'll drive you to want to do it more. Do you think YouTube is a good way for students to kind of push their dancing or anything that they're passionate about like out there? Will it push them? No. It'll make them say, oh, I want to do that. But the thing that'll push a person is competition. Mm -hmm. So take a dance class and you say you're 15 and you see a, a little girl that's eight and you're doing the same choreography and she's what we call it in the dance industry, killing it, like killing the choreography and you're not, then that'll make them want, that'll give them that push to like, all right, I need to step up my game and play. I mean, I need to, to rehearse and stuff. So. So dance classes is where you should go, not YouTube. YouTube would make you just say, I can do that. So. And just like, not do it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thanks for stopping by, Carrie. Till next time, LU, I'm Kiaris, and this is Let's Talk with Kiaris, here on LBTV.